Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Loop Masters for another production basics tutorial. And today I'm very excited because I'm gonna show you how to make this riser using just one instance of the simple delay inside of Ableton Live. So as you can tell, it's pretty cool. And I'm sure you can imagine using that effect on many, many different things. It could be snares, it could be kick drums, it could be other synths, it could be anything you want. This effect's gonna work the same way and it's very, very versatile and it's easy to do. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And by the way, all the samples and sounds you hear inside of this project are taken from Dub Techno 2 by Artisan Audio. They're a brand new label over on loopmasters.com. So I'm gonna leave a link in the video description if you like this flavor of music definitely go check them out. If you don't, you know, stick around for the tutorial because you can use this inside of any type of genre. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this channel right here and I'm gonna want to affect this synth line right here. I've just got this loop cranking. And I want the breakdown to happen right here. I want there to be a little bit of a break and then a build up just to add a little bit of interest and tension to the track. So what I wanna do is actually take this one little loop here you can see that that's just an extension. All I did was loop the loop <laughs> uh, and just delete this part. You can just delete this part right here and go ahead and highlight that and control E to separate it. Uh, if you don't want to control E, by the way, you can just highlight it, click and drag. That's what I do sometimes when I don't want to be messing with my keyboard, but control E will split it as well. And then what I want to do is control T to add a new track. And then I want to take this and control click and drag down. So now I have a duplicate copy of that right here. And the reason why I wanna do that is because I'm gonna be putting the simple delay on the track. Let's just go ahead and do that right now, simple delay. And inside of the simple delay, I'm gonna have it on 100% wet. So what that means is when it's 100% wet, any effect, the original sound won't be heard. So if I play this, oh, I gotta go ahead and solo this. You see how this part, the sound was gone? I actually want that sound to happen and that's why I left a duplicate copy up there at the top, okay? Uh, so that's the methodology there. So I wanna take 100% wet and 95% is as high as you can go in the feedback and I wanna link the two channels and I wanna turn off sync so I can adjust the time. So this is what it sounds like right now. So you can see as I'm messing with the time right now, it doesn't really sound great, right? It doesn't really sound that awesome. Sometimes you might want that effect, but that's obviously not what we're looking for with a pitched style riser. So what we can do right here on the simple delay is right click and choose repitch from fade, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just repitch it. And now watch what happens as I adjust the time here over the course of the delay. So is that not dope? So the really cool thing about this is we can make our uplifter, which is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna pitch it up, but you can also make it pitch down if you're looking for a kind of uh, breakdown instead of just a breakdown and then a quick build. So there's a lot of vers versatility here and it always sounds great. And as you drop more and more different types of sounds and use this technique, uh, you're gonna get some really interesting results that can really add flavor and character to your project. So. All we need to do now is actually automate this. So I'm gonna put a point here inside of my automation line. By the way, if you can't see your automation line inside of uh, Ableton Live, just hit A. If you see it like this, and you can't see your automation, just hit A and you'll be able to have this automation line. And then I just wanna click over here and click down and watch what happens now. So that's very dope and if I hold Alt, and go next to that automation curve right here, I can actually make it a curve instead of making it, having it be a line. And now it'll be a little bit more interesting. It will be, you know, kind of build out a little bit more gradually until the end where we'll build up a little bit more quickly and it'll just sound a little bit better. By the way, when I just triggered it, there was a little bit of clicking and that's because I triggered it right from this line. But if I trigger it right from here, everything will sound perfect. Boom, and there we go. So if I go ahead and unsolo that, 
And together with all the other effects and sounds I have in the project, we should have the effect we're looking for. And boom goes the dynamite. So that's how to get it done using the simple delay, using the repitch mode inside of there and automating that time uh, over time inside of your project. It's gonna give you some really interesting results. So anyway, I hope you learned something. Uh, don't forget to share the video and ask any questions in the comments if there's something else you wanna learn about production basics inside of Ableton Live 10. I'm Joshua Casper here for Loopmasters and I'll see you in the next video.